Hey guys, welcome back to High Point Half Blood Prince. And in this part, we are going to head into the Quidditch Stadium and do the Quidditch Hello. practice, isn't it? Yes. Where is everyone? They're already out practicing. Great. Can you help me with some seeker practice? Why? I just saw in the weather report just before I started this recording that we're going to get some fresh air by end of week, which is good. By the time this is uploaded, that'll be about then. Anyway, Quidditch practice time. Let's practice our secret skills by flying through these stupid stars. Yeah, I will. Oops, almost got out of control there. Focus, Harry. I'm focused, you don't need to tell me. Jesus. Whoa. Why are they putting these training dummies in the most awkward place possible? Why do they have our players keep knocking them out of the way? Jeez. It's so annoying when they do that. They're for my use, not the bloody AI. What an awkward one this is. Jeez, that's not very fair, is it? Out of the way, AI. I don't want you to get in my way. Well done. Yes, well done to me. <coughs> What's with all these people getting in the way for? And I missed that ring because I'm trying to avoid all these other godforsaken players who keep getting in my way. Why the hell do we need training dummies to give us more time anyway? Does it make sense that? But never mind, this game's weird. It doesn't follow any proper Quidditch conventions. <coughs> Pardon me. Ah, there we go. We got the snitch. That was easy enough. Well done, now what? Everyone. Personally, I think we need a better defence. The other teams have got really good keepers. We haven't a luxury. Ron's doing better than you could, McClagan. Yeah, I agree. Bring some friendly advice. One Pissed off, McClagan. Well, no one cares. Take your advice out of our training room. You're not on the team, McClagan. Yeah, exactly. Piss off. And I don't think there's any other crests around here. Nope. Let's just exit and talk to Hermione. I believe it is. Yep. Hello, Harry. Are you ready for potions? I've looked, but I can't find anything on Horcruxes in the library. I've been thinking. Maybe, if you make a really good potion in today's lesson, it will put Professor Slughorn in a good mood. Then he might tell you what he's hiding from Dumbledore. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> oh no! McLagan! He makes Grawp look like a gentleman. Really? I'll see you in potions. Hey, Granger! Granger! So, no. is she saying McLagan? Well... They went to Slughorn's Christmas party together, <laughs> but it didn't go well. Of course well. it did go yeah. well. Come on, let's go after Hermione. Let's go to potions. I like how he changes that mid-sentence. Game, I know exactly where potions is. I don't need to be told like I don't know where I'm going. Jeez. Now, I'm pretty sure that there is a crest here that we could get before. I'm getting a crest, you stupid buffoon. Jesus. I'm getting as bad as Malfoy now with the insults. Jeez. It just shows that I don't like the players very well. Uh, that thing's just above me and I can't really get to it as a result. Oh, I never nice big collection. Now, I believe there's plenty of things that we can get over here. Yes, you just wait there, Ron. Let's just burn this. Apparently we don't need other people to help with burning these things. Oh, come on. Come on! Give me a dung bomb, for God's sake. And that hit, apparently, even though it wasn't very close. Oh, another nice big dollop of crests. That's good. That gives us the next... 
178. There we go, and it goes flying off at the same time, how nice. I just want to temporarily enter this little wall area because I'm pretty sure I've missed something in it, but... No, my luck, I probably haven't, I'm just time wasting. And there's some nice mini crests for me. Now there's no other crests around here, I don't think. No, I can't get to that area there. Okay, never mind. Oh, I can't even run up that. How annoying. Uh, nope, no shields around here. Okay. Come on, Ron, let's go. Before we do, let's just get this bird. Which gave me barely any crest at all. Yeah, I know we do, Ron. Don't worry. Looks as if I'm gonna go into a duel shortly, though. Hello, Potter. I'm a member of the finest dueling club in Hogwarts, Slytherin. No, you're not the. You're quite the duelist. I you're not the best house. Challenge me to a duel. Uh, no thanks. We're on our way to potions. I'm not asking you, Potty. I'm telling you, Superfy. Really? Don't you dare. That's perfect. You can see our bigger health boost. And I didn't get hit, which is perfect. If I did get hit, I didn't notice it. I didn't really try anyway. Come along to our dueling club in the past. Yeah, you didn't really try, you suck. Why are Slytherin yeah. such bad losers? Yeah, I agree. Why are they bad losers? Uh, I don't think there's any other question because I got them all, if I remember. Was that? Oh, nothing. I thought it was important, but it's not. Don't know why the game's making us go this way far, but never mind. And there's another crest for us. Oh, there's another one just sitting there. I like that. <coughs> just waiting for us to collect it. I'm going to try to get as many crests as I can. Oh, there's one hiding in the pot. Where I couldn't see it because I came in at a different angle, so I couldn't have seen it. Ah, there we go, nice. Just get this nice big burst and then we will head to potions the way that the game wants to take us to potions. Ah, there's a nice big burst. My apologies, you tend to fall in the most awkward places and then vanish when you do the torch ones. Which is a shame, but never mind. Come on, Ron, let's run! I don't like how we can't run on stairs, it's weird. I suppose they say can't, you shouldn't run on stairs. Now, we can't get into Moni Myrtle's bathroom yet because it's locked off. Which is dumb, but never mind. Oh, look at all these crests, jeez. Do you know what I like about the game though, is that all the crest locations, they reset eventually. Like these mini crests, so you can get them and then they'll reset. Oh shit, that missed. Let's just try that again. These ones are quite high. Ah, there we go, and there's a... Incendio! Another one. Uh, Ginny and Hermione in dueling now, that's good. Alright, down here we go. Oh! Stop Chris it. Lighter 10. Stop flying round. Come back down here. What is Harry. Lavender doing? You've got to get rid of her, Harry. I thought you were going out with her. Yeah, I thought so too. I am, but please. Just tell her I flew into a wall in Quidditch or something. That's such a terrible lie. Anyway. I have to do what Ron asks. Must acquiesce to Ron's demands. What's the matter? Someone's done something to my books. And the stupid things won't stop flying around. Come down! Right. Have you tried anything other than shouting at them? Like Wingardium Yeah. Leviosa? Have you actually tried to use magic? I wish one one was here. He'd do something. 
Why can't you just do it yourself, you lazy no. bitch? Here, if I cast Wingardium Leviosa on your bag, I can try and catch the books in it. Yeah. And this is a boring subtask. Come on. You got one. Get in the bag, you books. Thank you. One will use that book to do his homework. Oh, that is just pathetic. Almost, no, I'm actually better than Ron. Thank you very much. I'll come here. Thank you. Are you sure you've not seen Ron? Uh, yeah. I she looked have. really cross eyed there in that in the shot. Tower. Why would he go there? He doesn't do divination anymore. He said he wanted to ask something important about his future. It must be about us. That's why I Oh, yeah, it really is about you. So no, it's not much. about you at all. He's always Just piss off, Lavender. No one cares about you. Never mind. Thanks. Are you ready for potions? One, one. Pack it I'll in. stop taking a mick. I agree, Ron. Pack it in. Alright, let's go down to potions and just get over with that. I don't know what potion we're going to be forced to make, but hopefully it's a simple one. I do like this camera shot, though. It's a nice one. God, Rod's going all over the place. Why is this the only lesson we have to do? Now, what about this poison here? Any suggestions? Miss Granger... She didn't even put her hand up. It requires a very complex antidote. But I think you should start with a drop of castor oil. Good, good. Harry, my boy, any suggestions? Uh, yeah. You could do that. Or you could just shove a bazaar down the victim's throat. Yes, yes. A bazaar would... Why a bazaar? Excellent. Not always gonna have them. Excellent. <laughs> a good potion maker always knows how to counteract the potions they are making, which brings us to the task at hand: brewing an elixir to induce euphoria. Oh, that's such an easy one, I think. Can induce excessive singing and nose twigging if you don't put enough peppermint in. What the hell? That's a strange uh, ingredient. Uh, Mint spritz. That almost went awkward, but it didn't. And it's the purple shrivel fig. Shrivel fig. Oh God, there's a lot of stirring and heating. Got plenty of time to do this, though. And we need these. Whatever the hell these are, they look like potato crisps. I don't know what they are, but they are, they look certainly like crisps. I will keep up the good work. Don't worry. Oh god, we must have to pour tons of this in. <coughs> yeah, we had to pour loads in there. Oh, we've got a sh bottle shaking one coming up next. And we need oh, the, the toxic bottle. I hear that weird sound effect when you have to shake the bottles up. It sounds weird, I don't know why, but I just don't like it very much. Sir, you knew Tom Riddle, didn't you? Mr. Riddle had many teachers whilst here at Hogwarts. Yes, he did. I know, sir. You must get fed up of questions about Voldemort and Horcruxes. <laughs> I'd ask you not to talk about this subject. But, sir... Dumbledore put you up to this, didn't he? Didn't he? Zoom, I zoom! I like that. I like how he zooms it in. Uh, that just went disastrously, you can tell. But, never mind. Let's go talk to the one outside, then. Come on, let me out. You're gonna give me a bazaar? I need a good marking potion. Yes, you do. I just soften Slughorn up so I could ask about Voldemort. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get something to eat. What a lame excuse, but never mind. McGonagall wants to see you in the astronomy tower. So why would she send someone from Slytherin? I'm not your personal messenger. Go and ask her yourself. But the auras shut the astronomy tower. Then they've obviously reopened it. Haven't really? They? I solemnly say Sounds like a trap to me, but to anyway, this is the last area I unlocked the astronomy tower. I really don't know why we have to go up there. Go and see Professor McGonagall in the Astronomy Tower. I'm pretty sure that that's a trap. But we'll see. Um, not really sure the best way to get this. So let's just go this way since it's the most likely. 
try to get as many mini crests as possible from these torches. Other places store mini crests, is it not? Oh, there we go. And a load of them just fall into the, the valley or the, the pit, wherever it is. No, I don't need to be given more advice about the bloody exploding cauldrons. Oh, and it's suddenly gone dark outside. That's why we've got a lit tor uh, a lit one then, I take it. And this is the sixth floor, isn't it? Don't know why I'm on the sixth floor, but let's just find our way onto the grand staircase, that'll be better. And that's Slughorn's office, what the fuck? Um, is this the way? I think it is. And that's just two blank walls. Why they're there, I don't know. Oh, that's a lot of mini crests. That should be useful. Now is it on the seventh floor that we have to go to? I'm pretty sure it's the seventh floor we need to be on. But I could be wrong. It seems the most likely place to go anyway, given that it's on the it's at the top of the school, but I could be going in completely the wrong direction. Uh, I think this is just a dead end down here. Yeah, this is just a dead end. But it has got a useful little item that we can get called a crest. I think you have to go to the third floor or something, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's the third floor, sorry, that we have to go down to it's at the bottom of the grand staircase. And another crest for me, 86. So let's go back to the grand staircase and actually take the right route this time. running into a door that's just lame. I don't think I'll go into the actual astronomy tower, I'll do that in the next video because I'm running out of time. These staircases take so long. Why much did it take so long? But what can you do? Actually, hang on a second. There may be a way to get to it from the library. Hang on. Happy Let's take the library shortcut. <coughs> no, there won't be. I'm pretty sure there's a way to get there from the this short uh, that shortcut I just took there. Yeah, if you go this way, this is a nice way to get to the. Um, the astronomy tower. I just remembered there after I thinking about it that there was a way to get to it from here. Yep, here we are. We're at the astronomy tower. It is just over there. But I won't be going there until the next video. So thanks for watching. In the next part, we will go up to the astronomy tower and see what the hell uh, McGonagall wants. But I think you'll know this is a trap. See you later. Bye now.